Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. I know you've been getting that spinning beach ball cursor a lot lately, and usually that's because all the memory on your Mac is getting used up. So let me show you a couple of ways to find out exactly what's going on there. The first is to use Activity Monitor, which you'll find hidden deep under in, in the Applications folder and then inside of there in the Utilities folder. Here you'll see Activity Monitor. So let me start that up and I'll show you what that can do. Um, it can show you how much of your CPU is getting used at the current time, will list all the various programs being run, and what I want to show you right now is it will show you your memory situation. So here you can see that because I've got so many programs or applications running and it's been about a week since I've restarted my computer, I only have 20 megabytes free and that's out of a total of 4 gig on this machine. Um, now just getting down and, and using up all that 4 gig isn't necessarily going to slow your computer down. It's when you start needing more than that. And what you want to look for here is not necessarily how little free memory you have, but also how much of the swap you've used. And I could take a half hour and explain what swap means, but basically this is the applications that you aren't using right now your Mac will move them out of memory off to your hard drive. Well, this gets to be a problem when applications are getting moved back and forth from memory to your hard drive, and that's what really slows things down and will cause that spinning beach ball that's so annoying. So since I've been running a week now, this 3 gig, this is way too big. It's time for me to restart. Um, so that's that's one way for you to find out if you've got a problem. I mean, after I restart, you'll see this is back to zero. But also, I'm going to show you an even cooler widget for your dashboard um, that I use much more often than this uh, activity monitor. So you can use the link below in the article um, to find this website here. It's a, a widget called iStat Pro and just download it. You can see the zip file is getting downloaded here. Then I'll just double click on that. And now I'll double click on that application. It says, do you want to install the iStat Pro widget and open it in the dashboard? Click install. That's all there is to it. I'm going to click Keep. And there it is. You can see I haven't even looked at my dashboard lately, so the temperature and all that is just filling in right now. So here it is. And they tell give me a little advertisement for iStat for iPhone. I'll just say OK to that. So this here is the iStat Pro widget. And you'll see it tells you all kinds of good details here and including you know CPU and memory and how much space you have which I have very little. Even how fast your fans are spinning, how much charge you have on your battery, and how warm it is inside your computer. I'm gonna make a few changes here. By clicking on that I, I'm going to, even though I prefer the metric system, I'm going to switch to Fahrenheit. I'm going to make it tall instead of wide. And under sections here, I'm going to, for memory, I'm going to set it to advanced. That's good enough for now. And watch what will happen here. Now, on my dashboard, I always will have this cool little widget that shows me how much of my CPU is getting used, which it's a lot right now. And most importantly, I only have 15 megabytes free, and my swap, this is, this is out of control. 3.3 gigabytes out of 3.5 gigabytes that it's allocated. 
And the thing is, as you keep using your Mac, this will keep growing and growing. And if you're not keeping tabs on it, your machine will just get slower and slower and slower. And you may not have any idea why. So every now and then, I just go to my dashboard, which you can find on your dock. It looks like a little speedometer. Click that. It brings us up on top. And, you know, once or twice a day, I take a look at my swap here. And when this, you know, everything, it seems to work fine if this is under a gigabyte. But once it starts getting up to two gigabytes, I realize it's time to, uh, to restart or at least log out and log back in. And that seems to clear things up a bit. So, uh, hopefully that helped. Let me reboot now and I will come back in a minute and show you what those memory numbers look like after a fresh restart. Okay, so I haven't even restarted the Mac yet. I just logged out of all users and that included shutting down a few browsers with dozens of tabs that was really eating up memory. I just wanted to show you that even logging out and logging back in can really help things. Now you see my swap is now shrunk down to 256 meg and I've got two and a half gig free. So now I'll go restart just to show you that this does start at zero after restarting. Okay, so I'm back after restarting my Mac, and now you'll see on the dashboard the iStat Pro widget here shows zero swap used. It does actually start off with 64 meg, I'd forgotten that. I have almost three of my four gigabyte free, uh, the rest allocated to various things. But um, this is a really handy tool uh, as you use your Mac. I mean, I I hate restarting my Mac, even though it only takes a few minutes. I have to restart all my applications again. But I do keep tabs on how much memory I have free and how much swap is getting used. And when that used swap gets too high, I know it's time to restart my Mac because that's the primary cause of that darn spinning beach ball. So remember, you can use Activity Monitor, but I really love that iStat Pro widget. And it only takes a minute to install. So. Give that a try.